Hey all, Mike here, and welcome to part six of building the All-American Closet. I am on a mission to make my entire wardrobe all made in the USA, and today we are talking about accessories. I'm gonna walk you through every single accessory that I have in my closet that is made in the USA. And I want you to shout me out in the comments below, shoot me an email, send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you have to do to get in contact with me. If there's anything that you think I'm missing or some great American made brands that I should buy, I promise I will whip out my credit card, I will buy them and I will give you a shout out in the next video. I also want you to shout out your favorite American made brands on social media. If you pick up any of their new products, tag them on social, tag us, and we will retweet, reshare, do everything that we can to give them as much visibility as possible. So let's dive in on all the accessories that are in my closet, starting with my hat collection. So first off in hats, I have my trusty Stormy Cromer hat, which is an absolute American classic. And yes, many of these are still made in the USA. Amazing winter cap, obviously. I have my Goodwear five panel camper hats. So this is a great clothing brand that's been making a lot of casual clothing in the US since the 1980s, I believe. I have a couple of different varieties of their camper hat. It does not have uh, the little round uh, uh, plug at the very top of the hat. And so I forget what that's called specifically. But anyways, if you're wearing headphones or you have to have some sort of headgear at work or something like that and really think that that thing is pretty annoying, these hats are a great alternative that don't have that. I also have my authentically American baseball caps. So these guys, I've mentioned them a bunch in previous videos. They're 100% made in the USA. I have a full interview with Dean Wagner, their founder on allamerican.org. They do mostly stuff with brands and more custom commercial work these days, but they do have some options for just everyday American consumers. And if you need something for your business or sports team with custom logo, imagery, et cetera, on hats or other apparel, they're great for that. I had them make a bunch of custom apparel a couple of years ago and uh, generally love the quality of their materials. I also have a couple of other baseball caps. So one is from LC King, which is a manufacturer in Bristol, Tennessee. Ton of good workwear options there. And then I have a baseball cap from Freedom Fatigues. They're a small family owned business in Detroit, Michigan, but make a ton of great apparel and do a lot for veterans as well and some of the charities that they work with. So definitely give them a look, especially if you're looking for some more patriotic apparel. Moving on to belts, I have a couple of made in the USA brands in my closet. One is from Billy Kirk. Uh, so these guys are an amazing leather manufacturer. They make a ton of belts and just other leather goods, uh, mostly for men, but you can find a ton of different options in their store. I absolutely love this belt. I wear it a ton with a lot of different outfits, but generally everything is handmade and really high quality when it comes to Billy Kirk's products. And then I also have more of an active wear belt from a brand called Grip6. They actually partnered with Freedom Fatigues on this belt. So you can see the Freedom Fatigues logo on the front there. But these guys are really interesting because one, uh, they're made from a nylon material. So if you need something for golf or outdoor wear, or uh, just generally like this type of belt better than the uh, big kind of bulky leather option, these are awesome. So they use a really unique cinch technique. And so there's actually no holes in the belt. So it takes a bit of getting used to in terms of uh, determining how to actually adjust the belt, but it's absolutely great. Um, obviously fits all waist sizes and generally great for active wear. I'm not sure if ties go into accessories, but I'm going to mention them here anyways. I'll do a future video on some more formal wear that's made in the USA. I actually love purchasing ties secondhand. So I go to Etsy and a lot of other different marketplaces to find some like vintage varieties. This is one from a brand called Cambridge Classics that's made in the USA, um, but it's a 100% wool option that I really love for more, I guess, casual suits. And then, Another tie brand to check out is Bowties of Vermont, B 
E-A-U, testing my spelling there. Uh, this is one of their formal black bow ties that I actually had to wear to a wedding recently for a black tie event. But they have a ton of great silk options and more formal wear, both in bow ties and neckties. Uh, but bow ties of Vermont is definitely a go-to for me in terms of ties. Speaking of Vermont, great state for glove manufacturing as well. This is a brand called Vermont Glove. These are my go-to for work gloves out in the yard, especially in the colder months since they are a bit thicker. Uh, these guys are the Farmer Glove, I believe, from Vermont Glove. I've had these for a few years. They are a great small manufacturer with a few different varieties based in Vermont, and they make a ton of great workwear gloves. So if you need something incredibly durable, definitely check these guys out. And then for more of a, I guess, formal option that is uh, great for just colder months for going out, I really like Sullivan gloves. So these guys, I uh, recently picked these up just a few months ago. They are super comfortable, um, really, really stylish, and just a great leather glove option. So Sullivan Glove Company, amazing if you're looking for like driving gloves or just general kind of fat, more fashionable everyday wear gloves. And then moving on to bags, I have a few American-made options that are in my rotation. One is from a brand called Green Guru, which is actually owned by Alchemy Goods these days, I believe. Um, but yes, I am a fanny pack man and I love these for just going out on a day hike or something like that. Obviously, very adjustable strap, super comfortable, big pockets. They come in a lot of different varieties. And so you can strap this on to your bike uh, if you are a big commuter or just really like to go for mountain bike rides and stuff like that, it has a strap at the back where you can attach it to your handlebars. But I just generally like this as a good kind of crossbody bag uh, that fits water bottle, wallet, phone, keys, all that good stuff uh, for just a great day hike. And then a couple of bigger bag options that are in my rotation. One is from Nutsack. So these guys I actually did a full feature video on recently. So I'll put that in the description below if you wanna check that out. But I just received this a few months ago and absolutely love it. I've been taking it on some travel, which has been great for that. But it has really durable straps on the back. Uh, great for uh, if you are commuting to work. It has a laptop sleeve in here, but also just for kind of everyday carry and an everyday use backpack. Super durable, waxed canvas, really nice leather on the bottom and on some of the features around the bag. So absolutely love this one from Nutsack. And they make a ton of different bag varieties if you are looking for something more like a briefcase or a satchel or anything like that. And then the other bag that is in my regular rotation is Flowfold. So these guys are based in Maine. They use a lot of recycled materials for a lot of the bags that they make. My wallet is also from Flowfold. And so I don't have that on me. It's actually out in the living room. Um, but uh, definitely check them out for a ton of different accessories. This one is really great if you're into more of the briefcase style. I also love this for just travel. It has a great strap on the back of it here, which is actually zippered, so you can close it or leave it open and then put it over your carry-on bag if uh, and other luggage if you're traveling. So it's really easy, a um, ton of different pockets uh, on the interior for storing both valuables as well as laptops and other bulky items, but generally love this from Flowfold. I've had it for a few years now and it has pretty much shown no signs of wear. Um, and so incredibly durable and definitely a big part of my rotation along with my other bags and accessories. So what am I missing? I feel like I don't really have a good pair of American made sunglasses yet, which I know there's a ton of great brands out there. I've talked about them in some previous videos. Let me know if there's any brands that y'all really love that I should pick up. Outside of that, maybe some bandanas or other accessories. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email, DM, whatever you need to do to get in contact with me. Like I said, I will look at those products that you suggest, buy some great American-made options, and give you a shout out in the next video.